Formal investigations are yet to commence, and despite the three female victims showing up at the Waigani police station at 10 this morning, no positive feedback were given on the investigation process. At the moment, police only have initial statements collected from the victims and their families. There have been no arrests at, as yet, but we, uh, we, uh, we can assure the media and the public that we will be doing that in a very uh, short period of time. We have suspects. We have been uh, greatly assisted by community leaders. The incident occurred on the morning of January 1 this year. According to the victims, over 40 men broke into their houses and raped the four. Esther Andy, a 23-year-old mother of one, was asleep when the perpetrators kicked the door down and grabbed her. She was punched in her right eye and repeatedly raped by at least 10 men. Some people escaped the window. Now some old man and more run away and party go. Now some old Mary and all only me plan all bagarabi me plan them. Some plan all burgi face. Okay, the eye number all burgi them all bagarabi me plan. Some old Mary. The other victims include a 15-year-old girl and an elderly woman believed to be in her 50s. All victims are from Erave in the Southern Highlands. Because all are working on dark, so I'm hard to look out of face. This morning, over 300 community members from Morata fronted up at the Waigani station to get an update on the police investigations. They were joined by founder of Women in Business and a strong supporter of women issues in Port Moresby, Janet Sape, and members of the National Capital District Council of Women. To the community, the nearby residents, long please come out and bring him this law line. Who have done that? Bring him come forward to the law. Once enough information on the incident is collected, the matter will be handed over to investigators at the Criminal Investigation Division and Sexual Offences Squad to commence formal investigations. The victims have received medical treatment but are still traumatized. Meanwhile, NCD Governor Forrest Parkop has condemned the rape and described the incident as animalistic. We, we can't accept this type of animalistic behavior where people showing no respect to women, no respect to girls, no respect to children. Sekla Gunga, National, MTV News.